Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here with another fly for you today. Today I almost feel embarrassed to tie this fly. It's the mop fly. It's really, really, really simple. It catches a lot of fish though. It's a great stocked fish fly um, early in the season, you know, when they've just put the fish in the kirk. Um, we're going to tie it on a jig hook. We're going to tie it on a um, 4640 specialty hook, one with a bent eye, and um, using a tungsten slotted bead in a 1 8 size. We're tying it on a size 14 hook. The next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap some lead wire on it, um, 0.01, whatever size you got. I mean, sorry, 0.15. I pretty much use this for everything. Um, I'm going to cover the, I want this to get down real quick. So I'm going to cover the shank. The other thing I want this to do is I want this to hold the bead up there in place. So I'm going to wrap it up to the bead and I'm going to give it a nice little tug up in there. Okay, the next thing we're going to put on is some chart, well you can't read that, chartreuse um, six lot thread, unithread. And I'm just going to cover up that lead completely. Go back here over the over the hook over the lead and I'm just going to cover this up completely so the lead doesn't show through and just get it all covered up okay now here's why this fly is so simple to tie there's nothing to it I'm going to back out here this is a car wash mitt that you get at any old auto parts store. You can see all the little fingers on it. You can see how many of them I've tied. And all we're going to do is we're just going to grab one of these little fibers here. We're going to pull it off and we're going to cut it off right at the mitt. Okay, we'll zoom back in here. There we go. Now, I don't want this to be too long. You can see how long it is compared to the hook now, okay? So I'm going to trim this down. I want this to go just past the bend of the hook, about that far. So you can stick it up there and you can see how much of it I'm going to have to pull off. And all I do is just pinch it off where I want it and then I start pulling the fibers off the end. And it'll leave the threads that are, that it's, all that's braided into I guess okay so you got your threads hanging out there and I got it sorry device there got it about the length I want it I'm gonna take just a hair more off that's a little bit longer than I like okay oops so there it is there's the length I like what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these fibers and I'm gonna lay them right in here behind the bead and I'm just gonna wrap them down good Get a couple wraps on there. Trim these off. Okay, a lot of times that's where I finish it. I just tie it on like that. That's all you really, really need to do. Just for sake of making a nicer, a little bit nicer, cleaner looking fly. I'm going to put a little bit of um, ice dub in caddis green on there. Just to make a nice little collar. So you don't need a lot of it. Just putting enough on there, like I said, just to make a collar. And to to clean up, you know, that little bit of a in between the bead and where you tied that down. So, so just make a nice little collar there. But like I said, you don't have to. And whip finish it off. This a glorified green weenie, whatever you want to call it, but it catches fish, and it catches a lot of fish. This thing has so much action, you can see how much it flutters around when it gets in the water. So give that a try, you can run out to your local auto, auto parts store, um, get it in the green, that's what I found that works the best. I know a friend of mine fishes it in an orange too. Um, just Give it a try, whatever Kelly you want to, but this green really works. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as always. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, like us on Facebook.
Thanks for watching. I'm Sean Holsinger. Thank mm -hmm. you.